Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so there are many candlestick patterns that actually work practically well in the stock market okay just before some time I was actually reviewing a recommendation of mine that was given to someone based on a particular candlestick pattern and it really worked well okay so i thought that i should be discussing it here as well and on youtube so that people can make use of it if at all they are interested okay also please be reminded that we will just discuss about the candlestick pattern here and not about any other technicals that should be supporting it in order for you to make the decision whether to make a long entry or to make a short entry okay so when i say we will just talk about the candlestick pattern what i mean is we will discuss only about the various important aspects of that candlestick pattern only and not about any other indicator or oscillator that you might use in your technical analysis okay because as you as you all know just by seeing a particular candlestick pattern you can't take an entry you cannot decide an entry okay because it has more chances of going wrong right multiple confirmations are always important so just by seeing a particular candlestick pattern you should not be deciding anything you should not be deciding on your entries okay so it's important to consider various other technicals as well but the scope of this youtube video is to just discuss about the candlestick pattern and the other important aspects related to it okay so having that said let's move on to the topic okay now the first thing first what is the candlestick pattern that we are going to talk about in, in this video well the candlestick pattern that we are going to talk about in this video is the island reversal pattern okay now this is the generic name of this particular pattern but if we talk in terms of the japanese candlestick naming convention it is also called as the abandoned baby pattern okay i am comfortable with the word island reversal so i will make use of island reversal to explain it for the rest of this video hope that would be fine with you people okay so let me show you the drawing that i have prepared to showcase this particular pattern okay just a moment let me bring it in where is it just a moment guys all right here it is okay so this is the picture that i have prepared to explain this particular pattern okay so this is how it looks like okay so the three candlesticks that you see here all the three of them make it the island reversal pattern or the abandoned baby pattern now you might be thinking what are the three candlesticks that mangaldeep is talking about well let me explain it so let me explain the left picture first okay so this is a bullish island reversal so what's happening in this picture is the stock is in an downtrend okay the stock is in an downtrend okay and while being in the downtrend we get this particular small candle now what is the speciality of this candle the speciality of this particular candle this one the speciality of this candle is that it is completely isolated from the previous candle okay so the body of this particular candle is completely isolated from the body of its previous candle that is this one not even the wicks or the shadows the the yellow line that you see here many people call them as wicks many people also call them as shadows call it according to your convenience okay not even the wicks overlay the previous candlestick okay so the complete the entire candlestick should be isolated from the previous candlestick okay another importance or another speciality of this candlestick is when the next next day's candle forms okay let's consider that this is a one day time frame okay and this is monday's candle this is tuesday's candle this is wednesday's candle okay so as i said earlier tuesday's candle is not touching monday's candle at all there is a gap 
right you see the gap here similarly when the wednesday's candle is formed the wednesday's candle is also completely isolated from the tuesday's candle right you see the gap here okay now when you get these three candlesticks forming okay one two three monday's candle tuesday's candle wednesday's candle when you get these three candles completed that is at the end of wednesday okay at the end of wednesday if you see such a pattern being uh, being um, like if you see such a pattern being occurring on the charts then you name it as an island reversal okay so please remember that these three candles together make the island reversal pattern none of the three candles individually can make the island reversal pattern remember that okay so having these three candles together you decide that okay this is an island reversal pattern that has occurred and since the island reversal pattern has occurred in a downtrend i can anticipate the stock prices to be going up from thursday onwards or maybe from friday onwards whatever it is okay so this is how you anticipate uh, sorry this is how you uh, find out the island reversal okay similarly if you talk about uh, the right hand side picture in this picture what is happening is that the stock is in an uptrend it is going up okay so let's say this is monday's candle on tuesday we can get a candle which is completely isolated from the monday's candle right now on tuesday can you make the decision or can you reach the conclusion that this is an island reversal the answer is no because as i said earlier you need to consider the three candlesticks together then only you can be sure that okay this is an island reversal okay so on tuesday you get a small candlestick that is completely isolated from the monday's candlestick and on wednesday the candlestick which formed on wednesday that is this red candle it is also completely isolated from the tuesday's candlestick so having these three candlesticks together taking these three candlesticks together you reach the conclusion that okay now this is the pattern which i was looking for and this is the island reversal pattern that has occurred now since the stock was in an up move and since i have got an island reversal pattern occurring on the charts i can anticipate that the stock will start falling from here maybe from thursday onwards or maybe from friday onwards okay now you might be thinking why do i have these two candlesticks here or these two candlesticks here i will i will come to it okay but as of now just consider this candlestick and this can candlestick in this particular picture so i hope you are clear as to how you will know that the island reversal pattern has occurred okay always take the three consecutive candles on the charts okay three candles consecutively okay remember that okay so the three candles that you see here all the three of them make it the island reversal pattern okay so let me explain this a bit more so why is it called an island reversal okay now there are two reasons to it first reason is because it is a reversal pattern so as i said if the stock price is going up and then if we see the island reversal then we can anticipate that the stock will start falling from here on okay and similarly if the stock is going down and we see the island reversal pattern then we can anticipate that the stock will start an up move from this particular point right this is why we have the word reversal here the second reason why it is called island reversal is because it is it is completely isolated just like an island in the sea okay so what is what is island in what is the definition of island in generic terms it is a piece of land that is surrounded by water but at the same time it is also a part of the subcontinent similarly this candlestick is also isolated from the other candlesticks but at the same time it is also related to the other candlesticks okay so because of these two things it is called as the island reversal pattern okay now coming on to the important characteristics of the island reversal how do we know that the island reversal has actually occurred the thing that i have just discussed before some time those are obviously important okay 
in in addition to those things there are many other things which you need to keep in mind to decide whether the particular pattern that you see on the chart whether it is island reversal pattern or not okay so we will discuss about that particular about those particular uh, characteristics now okay so uh, so yeah, so how do we know that the island reversal pattern has occurred? That is that is important, right? So it has it has to show some specific characteristics in which we will be sure that yes, this is the island reversal pattern that has that has occurred on the charts, right? So the first thing is the second candle. You remember three candles, right? Three consecutive candles: one, two, three; one, two, and three. Okay, so the second candle, this one and this one we are talking about. Okay, the second candle should ha should have a small body. Okay, so this red area that you see that is called as the body of the candle. The small green area that you see here that is called as the body of the candle. I assume that you know what is the body of the candle, what is the high, low, open, close of the candles. I don't want to get into those things because those are the very, very basics. If you are into trading, then it is mandatory for you to know all these things. Okay, what is the body of the candle? So I don't want to step into those uh, explanations. Okay, so uh, getting back to the topic, the second candle should be having a small body. Okay, now if you see the first candle, it is having a big body. If you see the third candle, it is having a big body. But the second candle is having a small body. Okay, so that is the one of the necessities of knowing whether a particular pattern is an island reversal pattern or not. Okay, the second candle should be having a small body. Okay, moving on to the second point, the second characteristic. This candle, okay, the second candle. It can be a, a doji as well. That is the reason why I have drawn a do, doji candle here and here. If you know what is a doji, well and good. If you're not aware what is a doji candle, hit YouTube. You will get thousands of videos wherein you can know what a doji candle is. Okay, so basically in layman's term, what I can say you is doji candle is a candle which does not have a body. Okay, so the open price and the closing price both are the same. That is why the doji candle does not form a body. Okay, so the second candle can have a small body or it can be a doji candle as well. So it can be this red candle or it can be this doji candle as well. Similarly, in a bearish uh, island reversal, it can be this green candle or it can be this doji candle as well hope that is clear okay now coming to the third characteristic the color of the body okay if the second candle is having a body okay if the second candle is having a small body is it important for the body to be red color or it can be in green color as well is the question okay so the color of the body of the second candle is not important Okay, the color of the body of the second candle can either be red or it can be green as well. Okay, that is the reason why I had these two extra candlesticks sitting here and these two extra candlesticks sitting here. Okay, so the second candle can have a small body and it can be a red candle or it can be a green candle or it can be a doji as well. Any three of them is fine. Okay, we cannot define that it has to be a red candle or it has to be a green candle. Nothing like that. Okay, the second candle can be a green candle, can be a red candle or it can be a doji as well. Okay, important thing is it should be isolated from the first candle and the third candle. Okay, it should be completely out of range of the first candle and the third candle. I hope this is clear. Okay, I hope you are clear about the color of the candlestick body. Okay, now uh, the next characteristic is the complete candlestick should be in isolation. Okay, as I just said, okay, that is also a characteristic and it, that is the most important characteristic. Okay, that the second candle in both a bullish island reversal or in a bearish island reversal, the second candle that is forming here and here 
the second candlestick should be completely isolated from the first and the third candlestick. Okay, so if you see these things on the charts, then you know that you are seeing an island reversal pattern. Okay, now coming to another important aspect of this candlestick pattern. Where is it more effective and in which time frame? Right, so as we all know, this is a reversal pattern. Okay, so if you want to go short, then it will be more effective if we get this pattern after a good uptrend. Okay, like in this picture, in the second picture. Okay, and if you want to go long, then it will be more effective if we get this pattern after a good downtrend here, like in picture one. Okay, so I would suggest you to check out for this pattern in a one day time frame. Okay, don't check out for these patterns in any time frame which is less than one day. Okay, always keep it either one day or any time frame which is above one day. It will be more stronger. Okay, but remember that in order to get this pattern, you need to wait for a minimum of two days. Right? I believe you know the reason why it is. Okay, because this pattern completes when three candlesticks come together. So if we talk about a bearish reversal scenario, then the stock would be in an uptrend initially and then we get that small body candle. And then if we get another candle on the next day, which does not touch the previous day's small candlestick at all, then this is when we say that the island reversal pattern has occurred on the charts. Okay, so I hope you are completely clear on this, guys. Okay, now let me take you to the nifty chart because I was able to figure out an island reversal there. Okay. I have already drawn the necessary things here to save uh, to save some time. So this is an island reversal. We will talk about three things. This one, this one and this one. OK, so quickly, let's talk about this scenario. OK, so what's happening here in Nifty? Nifty was in an uptrend. How do you know that Nifty was in an uptrend here? Because it was making continuous higher highs and higher lows. Right. That is when you knew that, OK, Nifty is recovering and it is in an uptrend. Now, when Nifty was in an uptrend, this candlestick was formed. Right. Again, just to repeat the things, this candlestick. So this candlestick was formed on 30th of April and it is completely isolated from the previous day's candle, which was 29th of April. OK, now. Does this complete the island reversal pattern? The answer is no, because we have to wait for the third candlestick to close. Okay, that is fourth May's candlestick, right? So on fourth May, after the day was over, that is when we realized that, okay, these three candlesticks, that is our 29th April's candlestick, 30th April's candlestick, and fourth maize candlestick. These three candlesticks together are making an island reversal pattern on the charts in a one day time frame. So what is the expectation? The expectation is it can start uh, falling down from this point, right? From this point, it can start falling down. That is the anticipation that you can make. Okay, so this was about how to know whether the island reversal pattern has occurred or not. Now let's take another example. This is also an island reversal because it is completely isolated from the previous candlestick and from the next day's candlestick as well. Okay, but in this case, it was already in an uptrend. Nifty was already in an uptrend and we have already got an island reversal pattern here. So this is not of so much of importance. Okay, because we have already taken the entry seeing this island reversal. Okay, at the low of the fourth May's candle, we have already initiated a short trade. Okay, so this island reversal pattern does not make any further importance for us. Okay, now coming to the third scenario here. This candlestick, that is 6th March 2020. Uh, uh, yeah, 6th of March 2020's candlestick. Is this an island reversal? I'm giving it some time for you so that you can answer uh, it to yourself. Is this an island reversal? 
I hope you have answered that to yourself. Now let me give the answer. This is not an island reversal. Okay, because on 5th March, the candlestick was formed, right? And on 6th March, this candlestick formed, which is not touching the previous day's candlestick. That is 5th March candlestick. It is not touching. Okay, then comes the 9th March candlestick. The 9th March candlestick is also not touching the previous day's candlestick. That is 6th March candlestick. But it is not an island reversal because for it to be an island reversal, this red candle or this green candle, maybe whatever color it is, it has to be formed here somewhere. Okay, it has to be formed here. So the pattern should be always like a triangle. Okay, uh, here it has to be like a triangle, like this and like this. Okay, if it is moving in the same direction, this will not qualify as an island reversal. Okay, so hope that is clear. I hope you got the explanation what I wanted to show you with these three things that I have just explained. Okay, now. The next obvious question is how do we use it in intraday or in swing trading or positional trading? Let me let me explain it in terms of intraday first. Okay. Well, again, so now, now that we know that the island reversal pattern has occurred in an uptrend, okay, the next anticipation we make is that the stock might start falling. Okay, let me get back to the picture so that you can relate my words with whatever. Uh, you see on the picture, okay? Okay, so uh, yeah, so I was talking about intraday, okay? So let's say that the uh, stock price is uh, in an uptrend, okay? And we got the island reversal, so we are anticipating now that the stock prices will start falling, okay? But when it comes to day trading, you simply cannot short it seeing the one day time frame, okay? Because if you do so, you might get stuck. You do not trade intraday in a one day time frame, as simple as that. Okay, so the best thing that I can suggest you to do is in order to trade in intraday is that see whether your intraday technicals or your intraday strategy are suggesting you to go short or not. Okay, so first thing is you have seen an island reversal in an uptrending market. Second thing is you switch to intraday trading. In intraday trading, you have to see whether your intraday technicals or your intraday strategy, is it telling that the stock will go down or not? The third thing that you need to see is Nifty. See if on that particular day, whether Nifty is falling or not. That is the third verification. Okay, so if these three things hint you that you can go short, then you can surely initiate a sell position and expect your target to be met without hitting the stop loss because you have multiple confirmations to initiate a sell trade. Okay, so as you all know, the game in intraday trading is completely different. So you can only take hints from the higher time frame. Like we are taking the hint here from the uh, island reversal pattern in the one day time frame. Okay, you you have to just take the hints from there. Okay, but again, this is just a hint. You never decide your entry or exit or stop loss using that one day time frame. You decide those things using the lower time frames. Okay, lower time frames because you are into intraday trading. Okay, so I hope you are clear. I hope you got the point of how I'm relating the one day time frame with intraday trading. Okay, so this was about intraday. Now, jumping on to the swing trading or positional trading. Okay, now these kind of tradings are done on higher time frames. So the minimum time frame on, uh, on which you should be doing a swing trading or a positional trading or your technical analysis should be a one day time frame. That is the minimum. Okay, so here in this case, once you get the island reversal pattern, you take the entry at the low of the third candle. Okay, if you are shorting it. Okay, so 
let's take the example of the second picture here okay if you want to if you if you see that the stock was in an uptrend and then you got these three candles and finalized finally you finalized that okay this is an island reversal pattern that's, that has occurred so i can initiate a short position okay if you have decided that particular thing then where should you put your order your order should be initiated at initiated at the low of this red candle low of the third candle is the place where you should be initiating your sell trade okay similarly if you see that the stock is in a downtrend and then by seeing this these three candlesticks you finalize that okay this is an island reversal pattern that has occurred on the charts and i can go long so what is the position where is that wherein you have to initiate the buy position in this case your buy position should be initiated at the high of the third candle that is here okay so in this scenario your entry will be at the low of of the third candle your stop loss will be the high of the second candle here in this scenario your entry your long your buy entry will be at the high of the third candle and your stop loss will be the low of the second candle this was about your entry and stop loss now coming to the uh target okay oh, just a moment let me let me uh just give it a quick cross check to check if i'm uh, if i have left something okay just a moment just a moment right yeah we are good so we have discussed about uh, your entry and your stop loss and i was talking about the target okay now when it comes to the target i cannot really explain the target here because there are multiple things that you need to consider to decide your target okay but for this video i would say decide your target depending or according to your greed okay or maybe the nearest support or resistance that you see on the charts okay now what i mean to say here is let's say that you have initiated a short position here okay and your stop loss is here okay what about the target the target what i'm what i'm saying is once you initiate the short position here check on the charts if you see any support lying somewhere here any kind of support it might be a gap it might be a double bottom it might be a triple bottom it might be any indicator that is lying here anything any technical that can act as a support take it as your target similarly here you have taken a long position here you have a stop loss here okay so from here where should you decide your target decide it according to the resistance that you see here and that resistance can be a gap can be a double top can be a triple top or can be any indicator that you use on the charts okay anything anything that you see as a resistance take it as your target the moment the candlesticks approach that particular target book your profits okay so i hope that is clear and guys if you're not clear i i know the guys who are new to trading if they are watching this video they might get a bit confused when i talk about so many technical things uh, together but if you're not able to understand my humble request is please go ahead and repeat the video okay see it once again see it once again two times three times five times keep seeing it you will understand what i'm what i'm saying here okay so i hope that is clear okay so this was about how do you trade it uh, how do you trade this particular pattern the island reversal pattern in both intraday and in swing and positional trading okay so so yeah these are the aspects which you need to know as a trader and this is exactly what i wanted to share with you guys okay so that's that that is all about the island reversal pattern that i wanted to share with you guys again uh, it's for sure a very strong and rare setup if traded well can generate some good amount of money okay but again as i always say 
just the island reversal pattern cannot assure you that the stock will move up or the stock will move down you should also get the same confirmation from the other technicals as well okay and what technicals you use it absolutely depends on you okay so that's it from my end guys and as always we request you to like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more information about hyt that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them okay and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it Okay, so that's all from my end guys and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading. Stay back home. Bye-bye.